Smithek Basala, and now I'm doing the 10th chapter on Book 5 of the Florentine Codex. Um, it's very complex. Um, I don't know where to start. There's a few grammar errors in the Nahuatl text. Um, there's also, I don't know if it's just my edition, but the first and second note that should be here and here <laughs> is not, there's no one or two on there for some odd reason. And it's a very weird, messed up thing. I don't know where to start. <laughs> but let's start reading. And I'll, I'll go with the notes from there. In which it is, 10th chapter, in which it is related the omen by which a portent was drawn of ants or frogs and mice. So pretty much you have a lot of, of those ants, frogs, or mice. It's a sign as an omen, you know. Likewise, ants, whether red or black, were regarded as an omen. When it was someone's ho house, they swarmed. They formed an ant hill, and they indicated pers persecution. They said that when they were seen, perhaps one of our prosecutors is come to bury themselves in our disadvantage. So was it said, so it was known that when the persecutor buried to the people's disadvantage turned into ants when time has passed. What they buried all out of it they attribute to the persecutor the one who wished one dead the one who hoped that one would die and the one who desired one to die the great adversary of the people the inhuman ones demons the so-called destroyers are people and um has a very interesting grammar thing here too um so they have um for the inhuman part they put in in at Inatlaka, and um, I mean in atlaka. Sorry, my bad. I'm seeing the dash next to the other ones, so I'm like, uh, like I don't know if you want to see like lots of dashes. So I thought it was one word, but it's just saying the um, inhuman, and then in tlaka te culo for the the demon part. <laughs> um, these buried and placed the ants so that's first and second notes right there um, the other one um, says here um, Muchi Ich Oan um, reads Muchipa so there's a different grammar rule there um when they swarm in someone's house, thus they bodied and required his death. He who was envious, hope wished, and desired that one might die, that one might perish. So he caused anger. He tormented, troubled, affronted, and afflicted. And that one, um, the afflicted part, has Kuitlama for Kuitlanka. And he rendered no aid. In the same manner, all such men bore and determined an ominous death. The persecutor perchance plays house frogs. And here's another grammar error on the frogs in the Nahuatl part. Um, they have it as tetlake chili, which the plural should be chilitli. I mean, I said it wrong again here. Chili. The, um, somewhere in the opening of the wall or in the roof of the house. When they spoke, they croaked and continued croaking. So also the ominous mice, perhaps, perhaps as reported in tales, all these, the inhuman people, the prosecutors, places and buried. When they spoke, so were they heard. So did they sound. Much of every word did they squeak, they squeak continuously. And that's it. Anyway, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.